To check our Sunrise Smart Start, the Hilton Central School District will hold a public forum today on a controversial plan to add armed school security guards. That public forum on armed security will take place at the Merton Williams Middle School in Hilton. It runs from 7 to 8.30 p.m. You can tune in to News 8 at 11 o'clock for the latest from that meeting. The board hoping to make a decision by October. President Trump will be visiting upstate New York later today. The president will first meet troops at Fort Drum near Watertown just after 2 o'clock. Then the president is set to stop by a fundraiser in Utica for GOP Congresswoman Claudia Tenney. Adam Chodak will provide live coverage of the president's visit throughout the day. An arrest has been made following a deadly hit and run near Darien Lake Amusement Park. 48-year-old Jennifer Serrano of Chautauqua County is charged with vehicular manslaughter. Serrano is accused of striking and killing 18-year-old Connor Linsky from Hinkley near Utica Saturday morning. Linsky was camping at Darien Lake at the time. Days after Congressman Chris Collins pulled the plug on his re-election campaign, Republicans are scrambling to find a replacement for the upcoming election. Collins is facing federal insider trading charges. He was indicted last week and suspended his campaign Saturday. He says he will finish out the remaining few months of his term. We have a new traffic alert for you this morning. A construction on West Church Street in Fairport begins today. Crews will be resurfacing pavement, leveling manhole covers to match the roadway, and fixing the sidewalk to be ADA compliant. Work is expected to be completed by Halloween. Detours will be posted. Well, News 8 is putting you first. Coyotes, foxes, even raccoons. A lot of wildlife out and about this time of year. How do you know if they're dangerous, though? That's why we are putting you first. A team of animal experts will be in our studio to answer your questions later today. Wildlife worries from 5 to 6.30 right here on News 8. If you're heading out the door, maybe you want to grab an umbrella. Josh Nichols joining us now with a look at the forecast. Yeah, I think we will be dealing with some showers, especially south and east of Rochester as we work our way through the day. We're dry here this morning in Rochester. You can see uh, the view here of our fair flower city is a, is a mostly cloudy one. Temperatures this morning starting out largely in the 60s. And there you have it. That's the reason for uh, the unsettled weather that we'll be dealing with here over the course of the next few days. That batch of rain that's down to the south through central and eastern Pennsylvania. All part of an area of low pressure that will meander off to the north. And it'll be a case of the low that uh, just won't go here for a little while. And that's why we'll be dealing with showers and thunderstorms, especially this afternoon. Still muggy, too, with a temperature near 80 degrees. Mm.